today we are doing a managing frustration exercise. So a really fun meditative exercise and I really hope you enjoy it. All you need is paper, a piece of paper, that's it, and something to color with. So that can be like a ballpoint pen if that's all you have. It can be um, markers or crayons or pencil crayons. Anything you have, it doesn't matter. Um, it's just, again, about the process, that dreaded P process. I know I say it all the time, but it's so true. It's so true. So I'm going to flip over to the other camera and we'll get started. So you really only need two things uh, for this exercise. Something to color with. I am going to use pencil crayons and some a piece of paper. And that's all you need. So first thing just going to crunch it, crunch the paper up. It's as tight as you can and that helps to, to get out your frustrations as well. I find, you know, as opposed to hitting something, crumpling things up is really great. And then we're going to uncrunch it. I've always been one to make up my own words. I don't think crunch is a word. Crumple, crunchle. There we go. And there's our paper. And now you're just going to do the meditative uh, coloring. And you can do this with a coloring book as well. Um, you know, just color. Coloring is really beneficial. But I'm just going to fill in the lines, you know, wherever there's a crumple, crumple line and just fill that in and just spend some time. It's also a good time to reflect on, on maybe what made you frustrated and what you can do differently in, in the future. You know, reminder, if it's a person that frustrates you, you have no control over them. You only have control over how you react. So you, you can only only worry about you. So finding ways to deal with your frustration is really helpful. So I'm just literally going from pencil to pencil. You could do it all a couple of colors. You could use a, just a ballpoint pen and do every second one. I'm just enjoying You know, picking up whatever the next pencil is. And I could jump around as well and go anywhere on the page, but I'm just, just filling it in. Enjoying the meditative process, letting things go, coloring. Coloring is very calming. It's actually been proven to um, lower stress levels. So I, like I said, you could do a coloring book if you wanted instead of this. I just like the idea of, of the crumple, right? Of crunching that paper so that you uh, get that sort of frustration part too. It's better than than punching someone. <laughs> I know I say that, I don't punch people. So it's, it's sort of a running joke because when I'm scared, um, I used to like flail. And so I would punch people if they scared me because I my hands just automatically went out. So I've um, been learning not to do that. But I don't punch people just because, <laughs> but I know I say that a lot. So um, yes. But sometimes you feel like you want to punch people. <laughs> and so finding something else to get rid of that frustration is, is a much better idea. So um, I'm going to recommend coloring and maybe crumpling your paper first and then, and then coloring. And I'm just going through my whole um, pile of pencil crayons just going through in one direction and then starting again at the other end and 
just using them all, not worrying. So I'm just picking up a pencil crayon. I'm not even thinking about it. As you can see, I really didn't think about it. I've got some colors next to each other and that's okay because it's about the process. I really like pencil crayons. I grew up with pencil crayons and um, I don't think they're called that all over the world. Um, but anyways, the pencils with color, <laughs> colored pencils, I think they're called for most people. Um, but I grew up with them and I, those and crayons, I love crayons. I don't know what it is about crayons, but I just love them. And a new box of crayons makes me so happy. going to make you sit and watch me color this whole page but if you spend about 10 minutes just working on your coloring you'll be amazed at um, how much calmer you feel like it's just a meditative process and so it really can help with those frustrations and if you couple that with um, thinking about why you're frustrated and how you can work through that and maybe you need to scribble a little harder on on your page you know, to get out some of those frustrations, but just to, to work through them and not let them bottle up is super important. So in, enjoy this process, right? Don't, don't be stressed by it. Enjoy it. And don't worry about, you know, if you can't stay completely in the lines. But yeah, and maybe you want to just keep one crumpled piece of paper and keep adding to it 10 minutes at a time, or maybe you want to crumple a new page. It's not an artwork, right? Again, it's that dreaded P word, the process. And that's what we're working on. So. Hey, so I hope you enjoyed that. I didn't, uh, like I said, I didn't color in the whole page because really you don't need to watch me color. Um, that's, you're perfectly capable of coloring all by yourself. But um, I actually think I'm going to keep this one around um, because I've just had such a crazy busy week and that you know, that 10 minutes that I spent just calmed me right down. So maybe it wasn't even just frustration, but just I was a little bit frazzled. And so this calmed me right down. So I'm going to keep my paper handy, although the crumpling was really fun too. But, you know, I don't like to waste paper. So <laughs> I'm going to keep this one handy and I will color on it whenever I need just 10 minutes to breathe. And I think that's a really, really great idea. So, all right. Well, I look forward to seeing you next week. All right, have a great week. Uh, be as creative as you can. Have an amazingly creative day. And I will see you again. Bye now. Thank you for listening in. Please remember to like, share, subscribe wherever you are watching and listening. You can find us at www.creativeu.ca.